Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the Stitching Colourist with Shelley Lewis. And for today, yeah, <laughs> get my words out. For today's video, we have another unboxing. Yay! Now this couldn't have come at a more exciting day because this has actually arrived on my birthday. Today I've turned 39. I am pre-filming this video on Thursday. However, I'll be uploading it Friday. So this package, as you can see, what I've written on the front is from Everyday Deals. Now, a lovely lady from Everyday Deals contacted me to see if I would like to do a review for them and try out some of their products. So I said that would be great. Um, so I had a look on their site. They've got some absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous things from the ranges from cross stitch to diamond painting, normal diamond paintings. And I also noticed they had a lot of bookmarks, um, which I've never done one before. However, you will see something in here. So, uh, they contacted me on the 13th of May. So, it was probably shipped out a little after that, round about the 16th. And it has arrived today on May the 26th. So, without further ado, we will take a look. Because I've only got 50% back today on my phone. So I apologise about the crinkling, if you can't hear very loud crinkling. So first we'll have a look at this um, thing here. So we've actually got a diamond painting and we've also got a cross stitch as well. Because I have a, well, the start of the year I was going nuts diamond painting. I completed about four or five projects in one go. But I have slowed down a little bit now because I've been doing a lot of cross stitch. However, uh, when I did look on their size to have a look at the products, oh gosh, I've seen some lovely stuff and I just had to go ahead. So, we've got, now the Beaners have got lots of diamond painting uh, bookmarks. I thought I've never done a diamond painting bookmark and I also thought it would be quicker to do as well because I'm slower with my diamond painting so I thought a bookmark it would be great. So this is the one that I chose, this is a tiger one. Now the reason I went for this one, there is something behind it because I actually saw this on another person's channel, uh, Love Crafts Forever, she unboxed this one of it's been a while ago now and oh, I didn't I loved it absolutely loved it so as soon as I saw this on everyday deal site I thought I've just definitely got to go for that so that's what the back of the bookmark looks like now that looks brilliant it looks really really nice and that's what the bookmark looks like at the front so we'll have a quick look at the symbols so I'll admit the symbols in here look slight bit blurred however it's not unreadable, unreadable I can see what those say easy so we've also got special drills to go around the edges as well so that's exciting now this I reckon I'll get that done probably in about two days probably two days and I think I'm going to do this soon because I've had some books uh, bought for me for my birthday um, so this will come in really handy for that so it comes with the little bit of extra so you've got your tassel for the top of the bookmark which i think is absolutely gorgeous going to a nice little flower at the top and you've got your tassel there now i'd say to probably put this on when you have put your diamonds on um so that will be nice you've got your standard tool kit i'm not going to take everything out uh, you've got your green bolt, your pink pen with a single placer and uh, some wax. But also with this one, which I don't, I've not really had with another standard tool kit. It's got a straightener as well for if you want to straighten your diamonds, which that comes in really handy. I've only got one other straightener on a diamond painting pen. So that is going to come in very, very handy. So that's that. And then you've got your diamonds. So we're going to have a quick look at the diamonds because I have got 
another product to have a look at. Oh, sorry about the crinkling again. Ooh. So, so, <laughs> oh gosh, my husband, he, he just hates the word so. So these are what the diamonds look like. Now I'm going to go this way so you can see what oh, I like those. Now you've got some really nice gold um, like little dots. Now these will go around the edges of the bookmark which I absolutely love. It is square drill so you've got white. Got a nice colour there. Like a dark grey. So there is a fair amount of colours actually considering it's a bookmark. Dark brown, a nice chocolate brown, like a mustardy colour. That one. You've got some nice browns there. And here you've got some greys. So you've got, is this free tan? It looks like free tan doesn't it? We've got a straggler there, the green one. <laughs> It looks nice and shiny through the packaging. Can you see that? It looks really shiny. Nice grey. A light grey. Got a nice lighty brown. Well, like a burnt red brown, I'd say. And a nice grey colour there. So that this will be exciting to do. Now with my diamond painting kits, whenever I am working on them, I like to put them in the little pots and number them and get them into order however with this because it is only a small diamond painting kit I don't think I'm going to do that with this one I think I'm just going to work with it just from the bags and just do one bag at a time if you know what I mean because it is a fairly small kit so I think what I'm just going to do is just do the different diamonds of well the resins at a time and just do all the colors and work on each color so i'm really excited about using this one now i probably should have <laughs> i always do this i should have got the prices for these um products that i've got here i know they're not that much at all um so what i'll do for you guys is i will leave a link to everyday deals in the descriptions below and also i'll leave a link to each of the products that i do show you i think they have provided me with a discount code don't quote me on that but if they have there if they have provided me with a discount code i will also leave that in the link below so that is absolutely gorgeous it would be lovely to work on that well and i cannot wait cannot wait to work on them so as I said I don't think it's going to take me that long to work on this one so I'll probably struggle to get it back in the packaging now yeah I can't get it back in <laughs> hang on let me one second sorry about that guys we've got it back in the packaging so that is the diamond painting kit I cannot wait to get started on that and I will um, like I said I will leave the links in the descriptions below for that one so that is that one so I'm just going to pop that to the side and now we're going to have a look at this cross stitch now the other item I chose was a cross stitch kit I absolutely, oh gosh, when I saw this. Now, I, when I looked in the site, um, I saw lots of beautiful, beautiful kits on there. And I did originally pick one, I'm sure I did. But then I saw this one, I was like, oh yes, that definitely, I definitely, definitely need to go for that one. But not to mention, I also showed it my husband as well. And even he was quite taken back with how beautiful it looked. So, sorry about the crinkling again. You might want to mute. Ooh, crinkly, crinkly. Lots and lots of crinkles. So, the design is this. Now, I'll just pop that at the side. How gorgeous is she? She is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I just love the colours in this. Absolutely gorgeous. 
Now this is going to be stitched on an 11 count stamped um, Aida. So it is a larger um, Aida to work on. So they can be a bit tough at first. But once you've started working on it, as you're going along, they do become a lot more softer. And um, yeah, I've been working on a kit that I had from another company, which was a stamped kit. And that was quite tough at first. But because I've been working on it, I think oh, it was probably about September last year I've had it. I've been working on it since because it was a large one and it has gone really soft now. So it's actually, it is a pleasure to work on. So bear that in mind. It is also a 40 by 50 centimetres. So this has also got the chart on it. Now it's on the back, on the back it's got like that shiny paper which don't really bother me to be fair now i like the chart on here i love it so the first thing we always do say about the chart is um what sometimes what we can get from uh, companies it's not their own fault i suppose it's i guess it's how they're printed is obviously the print of the chart because it's that small to see you do struggle However, on a stamp kit, half the time you don't need it. However, on this one, um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show all the charts, so I'm just going to show a bit. On this one, it is it is quite large, so you can see all the symbols on here. So if you did wish to work from the chart, you could work from the chart easily. So you could. You could work from it easily if you wish to. So that is the chart. So, we're going to have a look at the little bits and bobs that we've had with it now. So, it comes with its own little toolkit. Now, I'm not going to take everything out because you've probably seen it before. We've got a plastic bobbin for where you can put your thread round with a certain colour that you're working on, which is handy. You've got your thread, your assistant threader, I'm just going to call it, which helps to thread your needles. And also your ring thimble. Now, I don't tend to use the ring thimbles, um, but I suppose it's always handy to use. And we've got our little pom-pom with our needles in it. It comes with, it comes with quite a few needles, actually. One, two, three, four. It comes with six needles, so that's handy to have because you can never have too many needles. Especially if you're like me, that's like... Um, before, I've been known to snap my needle. <laughs> So yes, definitely, definitely a tool that you definitely want in your cross stitching. So we're going to have a look at the colours. So this also means a bit more crinkling. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't chase at me. Ooh. So the colours that we've got with this one. On it. I'm going to have bits of paper everywhere. Gosh, my husband will be telling me off about getting my room on Friday. So these are the colours. Now I'm trying to think of how we've got to wind these back because I'm actually wound all around the card. Right, let me just get these. Right. Right. Oh, we've got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we'd only got one, but we've actually got two. Right, I'm going to put this one across my lap while I quickly show you this one. So we've got this one here. Now it looks like it's got 39 colours. Wow, 39 colours? I think it's the biggest stamped cross stitch of, with the largest colours that I've had up to yet. So we've got some nice purple, brown. We've got some nice white there. Um, we've got tons and tons of colour on here, which is beautiful. What I tend to do is when you first get one of the stamped cross stitch... Oh, hello. Cat's come to visit. So when you get one of the first stamped cross stitch at first, sometimes the threads can be a bit knotted. Uh, I know you're not going to see me doing this. What I do is I hold the card... The, what do you call it? The floss card up. And I just run my fingers through the thread. So that 
it doesn't know why I straighten it out, but it straightens it out a fair amount. So we've got some beautiful colours in here that I'm going to try and get into the camera. So we've got some really nice purples. I'm going to love this. <laughs> we've got some lovely purples, greys. We've got some nice blues there. We've got, yeah, we've got a wide selection of purples. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's absolutely gorgeous and this side we have some nice colors we've got like a nice dark uh, skin tone we've got a very light one some reds greeny blues pinks absolutely gorgeous now it's a shame i can't get all these threads on camera to show you properly uh hang on there we go. <laughs> I had to put it round then. Just put it round. So look at all them threads. They are absolutely gorgeous. That's one of my favourite things about opening one of these kits is the threads. So um, we're going to have a quick look at the canvas now because we are going to be careful on timing as well. So I'm just going to put the threads to the side. So we've also got extras of three five three as well, which I gather is the skin tone. So I'm going to have a quick look at the canvas because obviously I don't want it to cut out when I'm not even showing you the canvas. So as I said, it's an 11 count Ada, 40 by 50 centimetres and it is 140 stitches by 190 the edges are surged <laughs> yay <laughs> and in the top right hand corner we've got a little picture of what the the item what the cross stitch is that we're doing and you've got your legend down the side and as i said we've got 39 colors you've got the symbols down there and also what would be the corresponding dmc codes now i don't think they're actually dmc threads but i think they're more like cxc threads which i have not got a problem with at all because i love them and because they've got the corresponding dmc code you could actually i don't think you'd run out of the threads but you could probably top up if you needed to with dmc so this is what the actual just look at the canvas what the top of the canvas looks like as you can see there is a lot and a lot of confetti stitches there's also a bit of block stitch in there but as you can see here there's a lot of confetti there now the only other kit that i've got that's got a lot of confetti is my christmas one that i had a while ago so we're just going to have a quick look to see if we can see the symbols. Now, <clears throat> I can see them. Some of them might be a bit difficult because they are small. However, I have got, I find what helps with these is the, oh, the magnifying glasses that you got the lights on as well. That you can put lights on. Um, I got which I got from Amazon. Um, if you've got good visual impact, good visual impairment. Sorry, excuse me. If you have good got good eyesight, then you'd be fine. But if you do suffer with visual impairment, you might struggle that little bit more. Um, they do look clear. They just look a little bit small. But it's probably for the fact that there's lots of confetti stitches, especially over this side. Oh, can you see that in the camera? So, yeah, I would say definitely, definitely work on these stitches before you do the block stitches first. But saying that, there isn't many block stitches around here, so you may have to do a fair bit of parking <laughs> if you've ever tried that. I'm just learning to park now. Ah, yeah. So this is what the bottom looks like. Now, the bottom seems a bit more clearer to me. I think the reason why that was a bit more difficult is because there was a hell of a lot of so, um, oh, confetti stitching where this part, 
I can see a lot more clearly, especially round here, which is her skin tone. I think when I work on this kit, I usually work from the top left hand corner and do blocks. Um, but I think with this one, I am going to stitch inside. I'm going to stitch a face first. Yeah, I'm going to stitch a face first and see what that looks like. I'm going to stitch around here and do all that. And at least um, when I am in the mood to like do more confetti stitching, I can choose, well, I'll just work in blocks. I'm not going to pick a cross shade and then search for it everywhere. I'll just do it in blocks. So it may take a little bit longer to work on. However, if I do all this first, it might be all right. And as well, because it's on the edges, it might not actually affect the symbols a lot, especially with my glasses as well. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Actually, really pleased with it. I'm pleased that it's surged as well. We definitely, definitely loved us love a surged canvas. So yeah, that will be a lovely one to work on. That will be absolutely gorgeous. So that is the stamped cross stitch kit that we have. We've got the threads there. We've got the oh God, isn't she gorgeous? She is absolutely beautiful. My husband is actually commented when he did see this. Um, I think I asked for his opinion because there was two that uh, I wanted to choose from. And he went for this one as well because he really liked it. And especially a crown there. Um, so, yeah. I had the help from my husband for this one. <laughs> and then we've got the diamond painting one there. So anyway guys, I just want to say thank you to Everyday Deals for sending me these uh, products for a review. It's always such a pleasure. Uh, what I should be doing, like I said, I've pre-recorded this on the 26th of May on Thursday. I will be uploading on the 27th of May, which will be Friday. Uh, I will leave all the relevant links in the descriptions below. And also I will be on my posting regular updates on my Instagram with the both the kits, the cross stitch and also the diamond painting. I'm going to be working on the diamond painting first, I think, and get that done, especially as I've had a few books for my birthday. So I'm going to be working on that first. Um, we'll get that done. And yeah, I think I've covered everything, guys. I think I have. Uh, it's definitely worth going to check out because um, like I said these products weren't that much at all like I didn't re write them down in the descriptions below I mean I didn't write the prices of the products but like I said I'll leave the links in the descriptions below and you can go and uh, check it out at your own convenience so anyway guys, I'm going to get going now uh, before my battery and my phone runs out. I'm going to see what my cat is up to. Because he did come in the bedroom but I think he's gone back out. Or he's on the bed. No, I think he's gone back out. <laughs> so anyway guys, uh, thank you for joining me in this video. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please feel free to give the video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, then please feel free to press that subscribe button. I would love to have you here. And until next time, I'll see you again soon. So goodbye for now, guys. Bye.